Welcome to Mix CG Arts. In this video, we'll learn how to create a hexagon sphere in Blender 4.1 using the Geometry Nodes system. We'll also animate it to disappear and reappear by making the hexagon split and scale. So, let's get started. Um, let's start by stretching the timeline to make it bigger and then changing it to the Geometry Nodes editor. Press N to close the sidebar menu. Now select the cube and press New to add a Geometry Nodes group. Let's delete the group input node. Now press Shift A and search for Icosphere. Add it to the scene and then join the mesh to the geometry. Increase the subdivision of the Icosphere to 3. Let's create some room for additional nodes. Now press Shift A and add a dual mesh node. Let's add a split edge node by pressing Shift A. To animate the hexagons, let's add a scale elements node. Now, by decreasing the scale value of the Scale Elements node, you can shrink each hexagon. This means you can animate the hexagons to both disappear and reappear. Let's make room for another node and add a Set Smooth Shading node to make the sphere smoother. You might notice that nothing has changed here. Let's add a modifier to ensure that the Set Smooth Shading node works properly. So let's add a Solidify modifier here to give the sphere a little thickness. Also add a bevel modifier to fix the shading. Increase the segments to 3 and adjust the amount accordingly. Now let's make some space to add a new node. Um, now it's time to add some material to our mesh. For this purpose, we need to add a set material node. By default, the material is already applied to the mesh. However, to ensure it works properly with the geometry nodes, we need to add it to the material slot in the set material geometry node. Let's switch to render display mode to see the material. Uh, let's create a new window and change it to the shader editor. Now let's add the color ramp node. Now let's, link, now let's link the color to the strength value node of the emission in the principled BSDF shader. Let's add a layer weight node. Connect the facing output of the layer weight node to the factor input of the color ramp node. Let's add a math node. Change, change the math node from add to power. Let's adjust the color sliders on the color ramp node. Change the interpolation from linear to B spline Change the colors to blue, 